Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're in our uh, Minecraft world here, so I was doing a little bit of thinking, and I think that instead of this being a forge, we're going to make this a quarry, like a mine shaft kind of thing, like a mining central, and then we'll have the tool forge be up here. So, in the meantime though, I think this episode I'm mostly going to be focusing on the finishing touches to our lumber mill and getting everything squared away possibly adding some decoration blocks some crafting tables in here a couple of miscellaneous chests as well as possibly something back here to take up some space but that is yet to be determined and I just realized that this lines up almost perfectly with the other house Minus, of course, this pillar here. So, that's kind of funny. But, we need a decoration block or decoration pieces to go along the side of this house here. So, I think what's going to happen is that this is going to be moved out one block. And then, I might do some form of odd decoration. Probably not shrubbery like we have on this one here. But I definitely might do something to sort of fill the gap down here. Or I might leave it. I don't know. Because it just feels like something's missing. So I might I might leave it for now but and work on the interior decorations. But for sure, something definitely will need to be done in the future. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go and get rid of all the, the, uh, the smooth stone surrounding the house and replace it with create a uniform looking ground around our lumber mill. So this won't take a lot of work. It's just some very simple repetitive clearing. So as a fun and quick little announcement, I am currently um, designing the next channel intro, intro, and, um, if I remember, I'll put my, uh, my Twitter link in the description where I might be posting the occasional sneak peek for the upcoming projects as well as the next introduction. So, if you, uh, have a Twitter and want to follow me, I'll, uh, leave you a link in the description. If not, I uh, totally understand, because um, Twitter is kind of becoming obsolete with the invention of Instagram, as well as Snapchat. It seems as if Twitter has become a tool of the past. So. Alright. So. Let's go and move this over. By one. So I actually don't need to remove all the logs. I just need to remove. These ones up here. And then shift it over by one. A very, very, very simple fix. So we're just going to go and get rid of those. We're going to place marker blocks right here as anchors for us to place our wooden logs down on. Then we're just going to very quickly clear these buildings. So... Also, as a bit of a heads up, I do feel like I'm getting a little uh, little under the, under the weather here, a little sick. I blame my office environment because both my coworkers have been coming into work morbidly sick and coughing everywhere without covering their mouths, so I may have picked up what they have. It definitely does feel like I have something in the throat. So, if for some reason there's a couple of day pause in my uploads, that is the reason why. But, um, depending on how I'm feeling tomorrow, I'm going to try to record a ton of videos, so that way 
I have a bit of a backlog as a precaution. So, okay, enough rambling. Let's uh, get back into it. I really need a cough, but this is not good. So, I just remember what I, what I have to do. We're going to need some, we're going to pull this crafting table up and move it on the inside. Um, let's get, let's see, what's a good thing to have inside of a woodcutter? Some hot gear, like what kind of, what would be needed? Um, shoot. Hmm, I guess a workbench area would kind of be nice, especially if you're doing, um, wood cutting so we're gonna go into here and take a look at all the different kind of trap doors those are pressure plates I'm sorry it looks like that dark oak will be the best kind of trap door to use as a pseudo countertop workspace area so we're gonna go pull up. Those are spruce stairs, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Those are also dark oak planks. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. Please forgive me. So, we're gonna go and we're gonna drop some of these logs in here and make a couple of trap doors. I think two will be enough. And then we're also going to go and make a chest. So, this chest will be used to store probably a couple axes and whatnot, just to kind of keep the, uh, the current supply at a decent level. I don't know if my whispering is actually helping or not, because I usually don't whisper. So, it's a little interesting for me. Anyways, slowly increasing the volume of my voice here adding a little bit more rasp to it, and we're back to regular talking. Well, more of a whispered, kind of soft-spoken feeling, because my regular talking is usually fairly loud and not so controlled. So the next thing here, we have kind of like a little workspace area. Um, maybe we'll move the chest over there and put something else right here because this the way that flows I'm not too much of a fan of that so my computer fans are being extra loud today I don't know why I hope that um I'll be able to cancel that noise out using audacity like I usually do but we'll find out hmm They're really, oh crap, these blocks are available. The uh, multi-faced ones. That's kind of cool. There aren't really a lot of blocks that scream that, hey, I specialize in cutting wood. But by the looks of it, uh, Minecraft 1.14 will be exactly that. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry, I just put my mic there. I didn't mean to do that. So, there's not really a lot of extra decorations that I can put, but we do have some additional leather. So I think I'm going to take full advantage of that. Or maybe not. I need more sticks. Let's check our generics chest here. We have four sticks, but... So we're gonna go and drop that down. Make some more sticks. We're gonna go ahead, make another item frame. And then we're gonna go and make two and two uh, iron axes. We're gonna throw one in the chest and then we're gonna have one on display above the chest. 
to signify what it's used for. Um, let's also put a furnace in here. Why not? Really no reason why not to, I suppose. We'll put the furnace right there, like that. It's kind of a nice little workbench area. I don't know if furniture is necessarily a, a good idea, but... I mean... I need to look up furniture ideas, because I don't usually do interior decoration. I'm usually the exterior builder when I play on, like, servers and whatnot, so... Well, I haven't probably done a server with friends in... Oof, way too long. Um, I think what I, I think I know what I'm gonna do for uh, the surrounding area. We're gonna cut through along these edges here, and then we're gonna. some additional blocks to the mix. So, I think I'm going to be using, we're going to put down some sta some sample stone slabs and see how well those blend in with the area. And, um, hmm. I don't know if that's exactly what I was hoping for. It's nighttime, I should probably wrap things up. But, I mean, I think I'll need to play with it a little bit more. I might end up doing cobble and see how cobble looks. But in the meantime, I need to get back inside and get to sleep because, ah, uh, monsters. So I'm probably going to look up some furniture ideas. And then next episode, that'll probably be the main focus is adding furniture to both this house and this here. So we're going to Enderman. Okay. Just drop down some cobblestone along the edge here, because why not? You know, that's actually not bad. Um, I think that while I'm doing this here, is that because we have the cobblestone foundation, it probably wouldn't hurt to start um, scattering it, making it look a little bit more rough, because that's more of a defined modern, while this is a little bit more rugged. So we're going to go with a shovel here, and we're going to do there, 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 there. <gasps> Boy, are you trying to get like get my field of view? Come on, dude. Chillax, man. God, it scared me. Um, we're gonna do it right here, here, and there. Right there, right there, right here, there, there, there. Here, here, there, there. Here, there, there. Um, here, there, there, here, 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 there, there, and there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some smooth stone. We're going to go make eight buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, maybe nine, ten, eleven, because eleven is a prime number, so... Humans are commonly known for being terrible at randomizing their choices. But for some reason, we find numbers like 11, 7, and 13 to be more of a random number than even numbers and other things. It's kind of a weird thing, but I mean, but it's also kind of cool just to see that humans are inherently really bad choosing random pairs and orders and things that really shouldn't work together and be random but you know whatever 
I'm kind of going on a tangent here because I'm more focused on building and randomizing in quotations than anything else. So this kind of creates a really sloppy stone effect on the side here. And then by just dropping some buttons around, um, it gives it the effect that there's like just a couple pebbles just sort of chilling on the, uh, the ground nearby. So this is something I've been doing a lot of my houses for quite a while when they're like not supposed to be perfect, when they're really rugged or whatnot. And it gives them sort of a a really just not so clean look, like they're just sort of broken down and whatnot. I mean, not that we're going for a broken down look, we're just kind of going for something that's a little rough around the edges, which is what we did here. It just looks kind of unfinished. So, although the cobblestone doesn't really add to it, I think that I need to change this one out with stone. There we go. And... Same thing with this here, that should be stone. Uh, those two can actually stay. Mm, no. I don't think cobblestone should be allowed to touch cobblestone. So we're going to replace that one with dirt here. And let's follow the rule. Cobblestone can't touch cobblestone. And same goes right here. This at least makes it look like I tried. So, let's, uh, we have more cobblestone right here. Let's fix that. We'll do two smooth stone to fix, uh, actually we'll do dirt. Cobblestone, can't touch cobblestone, we're good to go. Alright. There we go. Kind of a non normal house. It's a little different than this one. I mean, it's the same build style because they both follow a spruce wood, uh, spruce bark wallpaper, uh, smooth stone window outlining with a stone brick foundation followed by stone brick roofing. Just minorly different styles. So that should do the trick for this one. I keep trying to jump up there thinking that it's possible, but it's not. So, um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to build an anvil because I need to do some, no, that's not worth wasting that. So what's going to happen next is over the next couple episodes, I'm going to migrate the items to a different area. And this area here will become the quarry. <gasps> oh, that scared me. That really scared me. Ooh. So, I'm going to go hunting because I need more food. And uh, watermelons are not a good source of food because they're loud, they're obnoxious, they only restore one hunger apiece. There's no way to get, like, you know decent food from them. They have a low saturation level. So, in the end, it really diminishes the, uh, the usefulness of the watermelon. Oh, I kind of like the, the way this is going here with these shots. I'm gonna... Maybe I'll do the screenshot a little earlier than usual, and maybe I'll do the inside. No, because that'll rip you how terrible I am of a builder. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good screenshot. Hmm. Although maybe an elevated one, two, three. With the sun barely coasting over. That's perfect. Look at that. All right. So next episode will be when we actually start doing decorations, and hopefully, um, I did say that I'd have the intro done by episode 30, but I'm actually putting a lot of effort into this one, so uh, I don't know if that's going to be 100% possible. Most of the effort's going into the audio um, quality, because last time, the, uh, the those notes you hear in the introduction are literally... Minecraft note blocks on ice. 
So, um, the introduction was kind of hastily put together for episode one, and I was supposed to change it out by episode five, like, you know, mentally, like, I was like, I'm going to get rid of this one and change it out. And then by episode 13, um, I think that's when I started to realize that I might be losing viewers due to my introduction. So I was like, maybe I should change it out. And I never did test that theory. It could also be due to my voice. So I'm trying to look for cows and pigs, but I don't see any. So I need to go deep into the birch. So I'm going to probably make a more professional introduction that actually looks nice, sounds nice, and isn't um, a, a relic of 2000, um, 2012, because that gradient pattern with the glow, um, that is very, 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 very 2012-esque, which, non-surprisingly, is when I learned how to use um, the majority of the tools in Adobe Flash. So, if you look at my animations in Macromedia Flash, Flash 8, um, they're very crude. Um, I used to draw up Transformers and animate their animation cycles because I was a huge fan of... Oh, I can't even remember their names, but... There were these old YouTubers that would draw up Transformers transforming. And I was like so like, you know, blown away. Like, oh, I can do that. So somewhere on my old computer, there's a bunch of really, really bad Flash animations of Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Ironhide, Jetfire, Devastator, and... Oh, a cow. Uh, probably a couple others, too. Um, I know that I wanted to do... This is uh, back in the Bay Formers when uh, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen was a huge thing. Dark of the Moon hadn't quite come out yet. And this was Macromedia Flash 8. So this is back when I was like 9. So this would have been ooh, 2009. So I don't know why I had to think about that because I literally just take the current year I'm in. And that's, yeah. So minus the November months, that's a weird area where I'm a little ahead, but... I don't know. So, I can't, I, I'm pretty sure it was 2009. It may have been 2010, but I don't know. That's when I had gotten Macromedia Flash 8 and started to experiment with that and see what uh, sort of monstrosities I could create. So, yeah, my, uh, my parents were a little too supporting, I think, because the me using Flash actually led me down a dangerous path where for a while I thought I wanted to be a media artist and draw things for a living. Even though at the time I was doing that, I was also working with Minecraft Redstone and I had built a really, really bad calculator using um, a couple of binary algorithms because I figured out how to use uh, XOR gates and whatnot and putting it together and seeing what other people did, I was like, oh, I can figure out how to do that. And sure enough, I made one of probably the slowest calculators in Minecraft. And yeah, <laughs> that was kind of funny. So even though I was doing that stuff with Redstone and, you know, kind of being a little, uh, little too, uh, too ambitious, I guess. I don't know. Because I was trying to do a lot with it. Um, for one of my... Uh, in my freshman year of high school, for my geometry... For one of my geometry progress, like projects, where we had to integrate math with um, something random. So, for an example, uh, one of my friends had to do a... Um, a presentation on the Fibonacci sequence. Another one did the golden ratio. Um, one of them went over um, the math of electrical engineering using the uh, the power wheel, where you have like um oh, I can't remember it, but there's like a wheel that you can use uh, that you know kind of like gives you a, a reference to how. Um, transistors, power, and whatnot need to be calculated. 
uh, it's like ohm and like ohms and whatnot. I don't, I need to, I can't tell you because I didn't go into the electrical engineering field to my high school. I stuck with programming and media arts. So anyways, um, this led to, I wonder if I shouldn't worry about my helmet condition. This whole fiasco thing with, uh, that this like project in math, um, my original project was origami and showing like, oh, math and origami and whatnot. And the problem was, was that I did not want to do it. Um, I got, I got the bottom barrel and, um, chose my topic last and because my math teacher was really cool and he's not really about, um, conforming to uh educational standards he believes that if a student like he you know had the uh, strong position that if a student wanted to learn about math then he wouldn't stop them so like he wouldn't like hold you back if you had like a certain like ambition to learn like a certain math topic he would help you with it so this um so me knowing this fact about him I, um, I decided to go and make a little uh, proposition for him. I said like, Hey, um, you know, for this whole origami project, I don't, I don't think that I'll be able to give the best presentation possible. So then I said, I know this is going to sound crazy, but what if I built a graphing calculator in the Minecraft video game? And he took me up on that. He said, if you can do it, I'll be surely impressed. So I spent the entire weekend um, building that. And the way I did it was I had um, a binary adder and a binary subtractor on top of each other that would determine what part of the function you were doing. If you're doing like a, it was a y equals mx plus b grapher. So it would determine whether you were using, using a negative function or a positive function it would switch between the adder and subtractor. But it would actually use both secretly. Um, it was just kind of like a weird way it would do it. But um, I have to look at the... Uh, I need to find my notebook and read it so I could tell you guys exactly how it worked. But anyways, it would go through that. Then I had this pixel grid using redstone lamps that... Um, would receive and hold a signal and i was actually really proud of this because i built um a, a trinary pixel it had three different states it had a um, clear state it had a hold state and it had the um, off state and i know that only sounds like two states because like you know a clear state whatever but it could receive um you know multiple different signals and talk to its the buddies next to it and whatnot and i was like super super like you know uh, like excited about that design that I had done. And, um, so I built that and I built the adder that I built the, you know, I, you know, handed all the wiring for it. And then I set it all up and, uh, added a couple fun conditionals and whatnot. So that way you could have the plus B factor. And then I, tried doing logic but i couldn't so i ended up just going for a point graph so it could only graph points because i couldn't get it to actually draw the line so that was i think probably the i i tried you know i was the one thing i couldn't figure out was how to make it so it could actually draw a line so it only graph points um and that was kind of that but anyways uh, come Monday when I was supposed to present, um, you know, I booted up Minecraft on the school computer. That was pretty great. Pulled up the world and started showing like, you know, everything. Um, when they asked me to explain it, I couldn't. Um, I tried drawing up on the, uh, the, the whiteboard, like, you know, my mental processing, but, you know, I was trying to explain it using binary and how I was able to uh, create artificial binary psych signals using uh, redstone on the whiteboard in the middle of class after my presentation, and none of them were able to comprehend it. Uh, some of them started asking if I just downloaded the map and whatnot, which is a huge insult to me because it's, you know, I spent the entire weekend working on this and now they're going to question if I downloaded it or not. Like, come on. 
So thankfully I had one of my friends to back me up. Like, no, I've seen him do this before and he can easily do this. And no, 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 no. So, um, <laughs> this, uh, this leads to, um, the, the class collectively agreeing to give me a 94% on the project because I couldn't explain how it worked and which sucked because I could explain how it worked. It's just that they, 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 I didn't understand. I didn't like, uh, explain binary good enough. I didn't explain how I was actually reading the numbers in and looking back at how I was explaining it. Um, I walked in with the, the, uh, preconceived assumption that they understood binary. So that was probably where I had my mistake. Cause I was drawing out the bits of it and like saying like, Oh, you know, you have your twos, you're up your one place, your two place, your four place, your eight place, your 16 place, your 32 place, your 64 place. And you know, yada, yada, yada. And you can use these bits uh, using the on and off signals of redstone to properly transfer and display this. And then I can send it through this adder then using either twos complement or just regular binary addition. You know, you can push it through this here using a couple XOR gates and conditionals here to transfer the signal. And then, you know, I was trying to explain it that way, but that went completely over their heads because I didn't explain. I, I kind of jumped a couple steps. So, um, I don't know why I just tried to sleep there. I think it's because like mentally my brain's trying to tell me like I should probably wrap this episode up. But anyways, um... I guess I will give this hint here. Um, the project that I'm working on right now that I've kind of been talking about teasing over the channel does involve Minecraft Redstone. That's all I'm going to say. That probably gave away a lot more than it should, but, you know, I just thought I would uh, would at least say that. So that way, if you guys you know think that might be interesting to see after hearing that story, what I'm going to come up with, then, uh, you know, I want to stick around if that doesn't interest you at all so be it but just know that maybe in the next three weeks or so uh videos might start popping up that involve minecraft redstone on this channel but it'll probably be only a one-time thing so maybe a two-time thing depending on how popular it is but anyways um thanks for listening to me ramble about a high school project that went wrong that also led to me revealing a couple you know, things about upcoming projects. But anyways, um, in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I don't really know what to say after all of that because I kind of just rambled for the entire episode and talked about a crappy high school project. And I guess I also talked about the decorations and did some of that, but I didn't really do a lot of work. I just kind of screwed around. So I'm sorry about that. I wish this episode was more productive. But anyways, um, Although, technically speaking, um, through an analytical standpoint, episodes that have the uh, word ramble in the title tend to do a lot better on both the watch time perspective and the view perspective. So, yeah. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. I, um, let me, let me check real fast because, um, I, I'm pretty sure that yeah, um, I went up like three subscribers in like an hour, so that's like never happened before. Usually it's like an over a day, but I literally uh, went to go watch an episode of um, of uh, Sons of Anarchy and, um, you know, went up uh, with only 60 subscribers and I came back down with 63, so that was really cool, and I'm kind of like hyped now because I've been stuck at 60 for the past two and a half days, so anyway, <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm just happy. Um, thank you guys for, you know, subscribing, watching my content, watching me babble and ramble and make a complete fool out of myself. So thank you for watching and have a fantastic night.